It was so fun to actually do something and make something with what you have inside of like the boxes and learn how to write the coding. The United States is facing a, a massive shortfall of computer science engineers. In our high schools, we have a very large number of students who would benefit from studying computer science and be able to then move into the workforce and fill those positions. We took the most successful advanced placement computer science principles course named Beauty and Joy of Computing. We added robotics and computer control activities to the curriculum in a way that actually introduced the students to real world robotics where they were actually controlling systems and devices in the real world. The Excite program is a really great example of a cs for all project that uses an innovative AP computer science principles curriculum, teacher professional development, and hands-on design-based activities to engage and encourage students to pursue computer science. I think every school should have a computer science course and especially AP computer science principles. At the high school level, we have to encourage kids to even consider this as an option, especially kids from diverse populations. Most of my kids are black and brown, and it's a reality that a lot of them need a lot of encouragement to even consider this as a possibility. As one of the few people in Congress with a background in science and engineering, I know how important it is to learn computer science. And as a father, I know that encouraging innovation doesn't just mean my boys are spending their afternoons playing on tablets or smartphones. By learning computer science, they're learning how to design and build the next generation of technology and devices. A lot of students have a fear of computer science, but because we use a, a, a program that's very intuitive and it's student-based, they learn that, hey, I can program, I can make these wild designs, I can make these games. Because a lot of times when they see the microprocessors and the little pieces, they're scared that they're gonna break up. They're scared that they don't, they don't have the knowledge to be able to program a, a motor or an actuator or a light to blink and twist and turn. But when they get in there and they start seeing the motors turn and they see the gears moving, the gears in their head start turning. It uses block coding program. Then you can drag and drop blocks to assemble your code rather than typing it. But it also allows you to uh, get involved with control systems, um, connecting to external devices and getting them to move around and light up. and really allows you to uh, explore it without having to know a technical basis. The number of teachers teaching computer science is actually part of the problem. There is a whole body of high school teachers, the technology and engineering teachers, which number about 30,000 in total throughout uh, across the country, who have never been involved in teaching computer science or coding. This project, which is supported by the International Technology and Engineering Educators Association, the professional association for those teachers, and uh, Hofstra University, aims at recruiting technology and engineering teachers in the high school sector to teach computer science. These teachers teach in a problem-solving manner. We knew we had to enhance the standard computer science curriculum to make it a better fit with their pedagogical approach. Well first, the program fell into my lap. My director, he actually was in the course and he was telling me about it and I was actually in another course learning coding. The one I was in did not have the hands-on component. The difference between this one and the other ones is they actually get to see what the code is doing. I think my students' ideas about computer science have changed because they are starting to see that there's more applications to it. I can diversify who does which part of the project and break it up into smaller groups. So the part I enjoyed most was probably the collaboration and actually like working and learning together, working together to develop different code segments or actual code or programs in and of itself. Uh, I like how people in here have different opinions and uh, I like how uh, they have different designs. And uh, that's uh, helped me a lot with my creativity. I think I like working with other people a lot, where like you get to see how other people think through things. Like, because you don't always think the same, so like seeing how other people go at the same problem you had in a different way. I think they understand the engineering design process as more of an iterative process. Where we're trying to iterate through design, we propose something, then we try something, and then we realize when that doesn't work and it's going to fail, that we try something else based off of what we learned. 
It allows you to harness your skills of problem solving, of really being determined to get to that solution. And so it's made me more determined to explore computer science. So whenever you're stuck on a block of code and then you finally figure it out, it's very like satisfying. Like, yes. Like I'll sit in my room like 2 a.m. in the morning of this be like, yes, I finally got it. This has been very important for us. It has attracted a whole new segment of our student population to AP courses that would otherwise not be interested because they have seen the excitement in the classroom from their fellow students. They find that working with that curriculum is something that they can achieve and be successful with, and it's just, just plain fun. Students in the Excite program are genuinely engaged in the complex computing challenges they get to tackle in class. Excite fosters a passion and excitement about what students can do with computing. One major goal shared by ITEEA and the Excite leadership team is to broaden access to high quality advanced placement computer science instruction by delivering professional development to technology and engineering teachers so they can effectively teach such courses. ITEEA is excited to continue the important work set forth by the EXCITE project, and we look forward to improving the teaching and learning efficacy of computational thinking for all students. I'm proud of my students when I see them doing different things and uh, making different programs. They'll ask me, hey, can you check this? And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute now. This is a little more advanced than what I'm doing, and that's awesome because now the students become the teacher. You have to fail to get it right. So when you fail and you try again, and then you fail and you try again, and then you actually get it, I just, my heart is so filled when it's done. Like, I feel so happy when, it's, when you just win.